Welcome to a lesson on how to perform matrix row operations using the T84 matrix menu. I do have another lesson that shows how to perform row operations from the home screen. So we're given this three by four matrix. We want to perform the following row operations. Number one, interchange row one and row two. Number two, replace row one with one half times row one. Three, replace row three with row two plus row three. And finally, replace row one with negative one-third times row two plus row one. I've already shown the results of these row operations here in red. For practice, we'll duplicate these on the T84. So the first step is to enter the original matrix, which is a three by four matrix. I've already done this to save time, but for a quick review, to enter a matrix, we press second matrix, right arrow to edit, enter, enter the dimensions, and then enter the elements. Again, which I've already done. And so our first row operation is interchange row one and row two. So row one will be the original row two, and row two will be the original row one. Notice how there's really no need to do this on the calculator, except we are going to store this new matrix in the calculator and perform more row operations on this matrix. So to perform this row operation on the calculator, we'll use the row swap function. So from the home screen, we'll press second matrix, right arrow wants to math, and then we'll press the up arrow. Notice how we want option C, press enter. Next, we want to enter the matrix, which we stored in matrix A. So press second matrix. A is already highlighted, so we press enter, comma, we want to interchange row one and row two, so we enter one comma two, close parenthesis. But again, we want to store this new matrix in matrix A or overwrite matrix A. So we'll press store and then second matrix, select matrix A by pressing enter and then enter. So notice how this matrix is the same as this matrix here. So it did perform the row swap as expected and this is our new matrix A. Number two, we want to replace row one here with one half times row one in our new matrix. So this row one is going to be one half times row one of the previous matrix. And notice how it is, one half times two is one, one half times negative four is negative two, and so on. Let's duplicate this on the T84. To do this, we'll use the times row command or times row feature. So we'll press second matrix, right arrow wants to math, up, and select times row, which is option E, not F. Notice F is times row plus. We'll use that on the next slide. So we'll press enter for times row, and then we'll enter the constant we're multiplying by, which is one half, comma, matrix A, so second matrix, enter, comma, row one, so one close parenthesis. We want to store our new matrix, again in matrix A, so we'll press store, second matrix, enter, and enter. Notice how it gave us a decimal here for the fraction value, we'd press math, enter, enter. And notice how one half times row one is the same as we see here. So now we'll take this new matrix and perform two more row operations. So here's the same matrix from the previous slide. We want to take this matrix and replace row three with row two plus row three. Notice how that would give us a zero in this entry here. So our new row three is going to be row two plus row three. So zero plus zero, three plus negative three is zero, negative two plus nine is seven, negative one plus negative six is negative seven. Again, let's duplicate this on the T84. This time we'll use the row plus feature or row plus command. So we'll press second matrix, right arrow for math, up to row plus, which is option D, enter. Matrix A, so second matrix, enter comma, now let's pause here for a second. 
Notice we have to enter two comma three. This will add these two rows together and store the result in row three. If we entered three comma two, we'd add row three and two and store the result in row two. So this order here is important. So two comma three adds those two rows together and stores the result in row three. And again, we want to store the result in matrix A. So we'll press store, second matrix, enter, enter. And notice how our third rows are the same. The last row operation will be to replace row one, this row here, with negative one-third times row two plus row one. So the new row one here, again, is negative one-third times row two plus row one. Because negative one-third times three is negative one, and if we add it to this entry here, it's going to give us a zero in this entry here. So we should get this result when performing this row operation on the T84. Let's go ahead and try it. Notice because we are multiplying and adding, we'll be using the times row plus command or times row plus function. So we'll press second matrix right over for math and then up to times row plus, which notice how is option F. So enter. We're multiplying by negative one third, so negative one divided by three, comma, matrix A, so second matrix, enter, comma, Again, this order is important. We're going to be multiplying row two by negative one-third, then adding row one, and the result will be stored in row one. So we have two comma one, close parenthesis, store the result in matrix A, so store, second, matrix, enter, enter. And we'll convert to fractions by pressing math, enter, enter. Notice that all the entries are the same. We have successfully performed all the row operations using the T84 matrix menu. I hope you found this helpful.